So in this lesson we will see how we can render interior kitchen. So we basically have two major light sources. One is a light that is coming from the window, a, a moonlight, nighttime, and another light is an interior uh, light bulb that is a bit yellowish in color. So you can have a combination of these two colors in the scene. So this is kitchen interior. As you can see, there are two perspectives. There is perspective and perspective one. Perspective is for just for moving and uh, changing the position of lights and so on and so forth. And I have created perspective one uh, just to lock this view so that every time we make a render, we will always be rendering from the same viewport. Now the camera is also locked. So you can see that I have selected the camera and it shows that all the attributes are locked. If you want to unlock them, you can right click and choose unlock or you can lock it again. So that by locking the camera, we can make sure that there is no uh, accidental movements on the camera view. So now, before starting the lighting, we have to identify the light sources. So I'm going to have two major light sources. One is a light that is coming through the window. So I'm going to imagine that this is a night scene, so there will be moonlight that is coming from outside and another light that is uh, inside this room so that would be a light bulb so the moonlight that is coming from outside will be kind of bluish in color and the uh, light bulb that is inside will be kind of yellowish in color so let's begin by a spotlight so a spotlight is going to uh, simulate the effect of the moonlight that is coming through the window so I'll go ahead and create light spotlight so the light is created in the origin let's go ahead and choose panels look through selected so now we are actually looking through the light so I can just move the camera view just to position the light in the way we want I want to make sure that uh, the light is actually covering up this entire window so that we will have a nice shadow of the win shadow through the window you can tilt a bit to show that the light is coming from uh, a higher elevation down towards the subject. Now once we're happy with the camera view we can just make a render or make a new render. So that's how it looks. Now first thing we have to change the light color to kind of bluish color. So I'll go ahead and change to my perspective view. making sure that the light is selected I will go to attribute editor choose color and change the color to bluish color let's see we can make a, we can save this image and we can make a new render to compare the colors how it was before and how it is now that's great I think I should maybe a bit make it a bit more bluish by bringing it here let me save this image make a new render okay I think that is better so once we got the desired color let's leave it like that next step is to make shadows so I'll go down to shadow uh, since we have a large scene it is better to add ray trace shadows instead of depth map shadows so we'll turn on shadows I'll save the image I'll make another render okay that looks nice now when you turn on your ray trace shadows you have to keep in mind one important thing uh, in render settings you have to enable ray tracing quality to be ray tracing so if ray tracing is not turned on you will not find any shadows when you turn on the ray trace shadows so keep that in mind so the shadows are created nicely I think I should increase the intensity of the light a bit more we can reduce it later when we add more lights for now I'll make it something like 3 let's see how that looks I'll save this image make a new render okay I think that looks good previous one now previous one now and you can also compare without shadows with shadows without shadows with shadows okay that looks nice now I want to uh, soften these shadows because you can see that it's very sharp in these edges I will go down to shadow parameters 
okay so I'll increase this light radius a bit let me see how that looks when I make it to I can just render this small region I don't have to render this the entire image I think I'll make it a bit more higher maybe five I think that is good enough maybe I'll make it more seven okay I think that's good enough let me render the whole scene okay that is looking nice I will compare with the previous one no shadows uh, no uh, no light radius now we have some light radius but as a result it has created lots of uh, grains and stuff so we'll get rid of those by adding the number of shadow rays let me make it 10 and I can just have a little preview here it's better but still I have to improve more we make it 20 let's make a render for the whole image now as you can see it starts to increase the render time I think it is better maybe I'll increase it to 25 we can have a comparison how it was before with lots of grains and stuff now it is better it has smoothed out let me make it 30 make another render okay now it's starting to look good so this is our uh, one light source okay that is looking good now you can see that since uh, there is a light that is casting on these areas that are brighter which should have a small reflection of this light in the rest of the uh, room so in order to create that I'll add up a couple of point lights with very minimum intensity I'll go ahead and create lights point light I'll push it up cannot move the perspective one so I'll go down here okay I'll push it closer not too much down but I'll push it a little bit to the side okay, it's going that side I'll push it this side a bit down I think that looks good let's give it a test before that I will have to reduce this intensity point 2 or point 3 I will have to change the light color also I'll pick up the same color that I have applied last for the uh, spotlight I'll go ahead and uh, save the previous image and make a new render okay that looks good it lights up the entire scene okay with a little bit of brightness that's nice okay now you can compare how it was before and how it is now before now before now before now I will add one more light to the right side I'll add one more light point light push it up it to the side somewhere there might want to pull it a little bit up somewhere there I'll make the intensity to be 0.2 maybe even less than that is will be good enough choose the light color Save the image, new render. It boosts up the overall brightness a bit more. You can actually experiment with these lights. Some of them you might like, some of them you might not like. So, depending on what kind of lighting you expect, I think this is actually creating a nice result brightens up this area probably some kind of a reflection that is coming from this metal sink let's 
we can compare the pictures before now before now if you think it's too bright you can also reduce the intensity a bit more maybe one point point one five so that should give you a nice result so let's go ahead and add up more light by uh, we can add a light here I'll go to create lights it's always recommended to create lights instead of duplicating an existing light okay I'll push it somewhere here I'll keep a low intensity 15.15 I will change the color to bluish color the same color that we have picked up before a bit of dark blue no need for shadows I'll save the previous image, make a new render. This should add up a little bit more brightness to the entire scene. Okay, we can compare with the previous pictures how it was. So this was just one single light, shadows added, smoothed out, second light, third light and fourth light see that these darker areas are becoming brighter now okay that looks nice now one important thing that you will notice is this floor is actually having an even lighting we don't want that even lighting we want this edges to be a bit more darker so uh, it's a bit difficult to, to get that result because there's all these lights are having influence on this floor so one thing that we can do is we can tell this floor not to get affected by all these lights and just to be affected by one single light. So we can do that by something called light linking that we have in Maya. We can go to Window, Relationship Editor, Light Linking, Light Center. So now, In this relationship editor, we can choose lights and we can tell some of these lights not to influence on certain objects. So for example, I don't want all these point lights to give light to this floor. So I'll select all these point lights. I have to find the floor. I think it is, it'll be inside walls. There it is, floor. So I have to do it uh, one by one. I'll select one and deselect this floor. I'll select the light two, deselect the floor. Let's select light three, deselect the floor. So now what will happen is these three point lights that I have created will not have any influence on this floor. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll make a new render now. I'll save the previous image, make a new render. As you can see, the floor is not having any light from these three different lights, except you just have light that is coming from the moonlight. That's nice. Okay, now let me go ahead and add up one light that is only for this floor, so that this will have the result that we want, because it should not be too dark. So I'll add up a new point light. It is always recommended to name these lights so that you will know which light is going to do what. So I'll push it somewhere to this uh, outside so that it will not have huge impact on the ground. I'll push it back somewhere here. Okay, and this light is, should affect only the floor. So let's go back to the same relationship editor select the point light 4 that's the last light and let's deselect everything else except floor I don't want any of these other objects to have an influence on this also deselect these just the floor let's minimize let's go back to the same viewport that we have I'll save the previous image and I'll render only the floor because there will be no other changes now okay it's too bright we will have to make it a bit dimmer as you can see compared to the previous one only the floor has got light now okay 
so let's go ahead and choose the color color will have to make it blue the same color that we gave before and intensity I'll make it 0 0.1 let me see how that looks I'll do another ren region render okay I think that is good it's not too dark it's not too bright I'll make it 0 0.2 and see how that looks we have a comparison okay so not too dark not too bright also it is perfect for that area okay so now once that much is finished now I think it is creating the result of the uh, night moonlight that is coming from outside now we can add up the uh, inside light and see how that looks so for that I can use a point light create lights point light and let's push it up uh, it has to be somewhere on the roof I'm gonna imagine that this light is actually coming from this wall side so I'll push it somewhere here and this side is not in our view so we don't have to worry about these walls these walls, walls might get too much of light let's in, reduce the intensity 0.5 maybe we can adjust that <clears throat> once we get a render I'll save this image make a new render and this will be more of yellowish color so we have to change the color also okay so let's make that brightens up the entire scene let's make it point no I will turn on my shadows then I'll do the modification um, okay maybe I'll make the intensity a bit low and the color yellow that whitish yellow okay I think that looks good I'll make it a bit more whiter the more white the light is it the more it'll blend with the moonlight color the bluish color so it's better not to keep it too yellowish okay and we'll have to soften these shadows no need to soften it too much just a little bit push it down okay let me make it point let's say five let's make a small render just this little area okay I think that is good enough I'll increase the shadow race to let's say 15 I think that is softer enough let's make a complete render Once the texturing and everything is finished with this model, it will look really nice. Okay, maybe I think I can make this uh, uh, moonlight a bit more dimmer. I think it's too bright. Let me select this spotlight that I have created. Window outliner spotlight. I can probably reduce the intensity of this. Let me try 1.5. Let's take the image, make a new render. So we can compare. So that's lighting up an interior scene. So first you have to identify what are your light sources and according to the light sources you have to pick up the lights and light up the scene.